When I decided to design my own one, I had certain criteria needed to be met. My first consideration was size and weight. I wanted heft and substance, and after a lot of testing decided two and a half ounces to be ideal, a little heavier than the average wooden one. And at 14 and a half inches long, it's the perfect length for most apps, uh, the cups and balls, Ramses, cylinder and coins, etc. Colour is important too, and since visibility is a priority, the traditional black and white can't be beat. I went with an ebony and ivory for a richer look. So this is it, my silent one. It's built from the ground up to my specifications. It fulfills the normal use of the magic wand, but I've added extra functionality. It has a shock absorbing outer layer that prevents it from talking against balls, coins, rings or other hard objects. It makes Charlie Miller's ring on one pretty much foolproof. The surface is quite grippy and that, along with the extra heft, makes this wand ideal for executing perfect flourishes and spins. Silent Mora's one spin vanish becomes as easy as pie. Oh, and I put a PK feature in one of its tips. Uh, more about that on the downloadable video that comes with this wand. The video also covers Silent Mora's one spin vanish along with Charlie Miller's ring on the one and a couple of easy to master flourishes uh, just to get you started. It travels well, it easily withstands the punishment of spilled drinks, uh, sticky fingers, even being dropped on a concrete floor. This is my silent wand, where tradition meets technology.